I need to melt snow to make two liters of boiled water. Should I use a two liter pot once or a one liter pot twice? Hello again, I'm Jason. When I was planning my earliest expeditions, my climbing mentors told me that I would want to bring a bigger cook pot, at least two liters, in order to efficiently melt snow for a full team. The idea is pretty intuitive, right? If we look at a kitchen, we pull out the big stock pots when we need to make a lot of food. We simply need volume to contain all the ingredients. But we also know that it takes a lot longer to bring a full stock pot to a boil than a saucepan. If we had a one liter pot and melted enough snow to fill it with water that we then brought to a boil, but did it twice, would it take longer than using a two liter pot one time? If a one liter pot used two times really was faster, the only downside I see is needing to tend the one liter pot a bit more carefully because there would be some midpoint when we would need to pour out the first boil and then reset the system for the second boil. We know that smaller volumes of fluid can be brought to a boil faster than larger volumes. But would half the volume be twice as fast? We know that stoves, and particularly canister stoves, get less efficient as the fuel vessel gets drained. So could that offset any advantage? So in an experiment, admittedly not a particularly well-designed experiment because I simply can't afford all the equipment I would need to isolate all the variables. But I did get to scratch my curiosity itch and see if maybe I shouldn't simply take the advice of using a larger pot at face value. The first experiment was using two Optimus Vega stoves, which use an inverted satellite canister that vaporizes the fuel at the flame. Conditions were 9 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 13 Celsius, with 7 miles per hour or 11 kilometers per hour wind. My home sits at almost exactly 5,000 feet of elevation, or 1,524 meters. I used the same Snow Peak Gigapower fuel with two new canisters. Prior to the test, one canister weighed 209 grams, and the other weighed 210 grams. The canisters were kept in the same conditions prior to use. Each pot was a jet boil insulated pot, in this case, with the same insulating material. The result of using the one liter pot twice was two liters of water boiled in 23 minutes and 49 seconds. Using the 2.5 liter pot, filled up to the two liter mark, took 38 minutes, 49 seconds. That's just over a 60% increase in total duration. The next test used two MSR reactor stoves with integrated pots. You can get different size pots for the reactor, so I had the one liter pot and the 2.5 liter pot, again, filled up to the two liter mark. It was a hair warmer, but still cold this time, 16 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 9 Celsius, with 8 miles per hour or 13 kilometers per hour wind. Again, using Snow Peak Gigapower fuel, this time the first canister weighed 209 grams and the second weighed 208 grams. I got similar but less divergent results. 33 minutes and 31 seconds for the 1 liter pot used twice, and 42 minutes 44 seconds for the larger pot. That's a 27.5% increase in duration, using the larger pot. Okay, let's move to a different fuel type, white gas. My last experiment used MSR XGKEX stoves. I needed more space and attentiveness for safety, so I chose to use them one at a time. I made sure to refill the fuel in between tests. It was slightly warmer, so the second run was done at two degrees warmer than the first, which started four degrees Fahrenheit, minus 16 Celsius, with calm winds. Also, the pots were less comparable. The one liter pot was a typical titanium, and the larger pot was two liters, not 2.5, and had silicon sides. This could matter, as we could get less conduction, both from the cold outside air on the sides of the pot, as well as heat conduction from the base radiating up the sides. This time, the two liter pot was quicker, but just barely. The one liter process took 37 minutes and 34 seconds, while the larger pot took 35 minutes, 13 seconds. So, far from conclusive. How could it be with such a small sample? But the two canister options were clearly faster with the smaller pot. With the white gas stove, the larger pot was marginally quicker. Was that due to the fuel type not degrading as much as the vessel drained? Was it the silicon-sided pot? Was the water content of the snow different? New hypotheses might mean new tests. 
But in the meantime, I am far less likely to just accept that a larger pot will be more efficient. I might prioritize weight or pack volume unless I'm taking a sled and don't have to care about those things. What do you think are the results? Any hypotheses? Tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and share if you want to support us. For more information, you can go to our website at www.shortguysbetaworks.com. You can watch a video we did about summer stove use, comparing stove weight to fuel demands, or maybe go deeper on winter considerations with our series called Cold. We'll see you next week and keep on getting more out of that big outside.